Listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Yes, so this happened on marriage boot camp last night. Soldier Boy proposed to Nia Riley. Check it out. Nia Riley. Will you marry me? Maybe. <laughs> yes. Ooh, we did it. Now, Nia Riley took to social media and said, I'm not engaged, obviously. I don't even know where to start. So, you know, this was filmed a while ago. So basically, things went left after that. So I'm confused. Are they engaged or did they get into a fight? Is it both? What's going on there? He proposed. It was filmed a long time ago. They are no longer engaged. I mean, if you see everything that's been going on between the two of them, that's clear. He was running around with Black China, remember? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then he had a whole nother girl. So clearly he's not with Nia Riley. Now we can also talk about little Mo and Carl Dargan on the uh, the last episode of Marriage Boot Camp. And they've been having all kinds of issues. It seems like he was caught lying, FaceTiming somebody in the kitchen late one night and little Mo was upstairs asleep while that was happening. So at that final ring ceremony, she told him that he's got to get it together. Check that out. Every time I forgive you, you get mad at me when you get caught. What did I do? I'm not worrying about you going anywhere. Well, why? Dang, you should be worried. Like I can really in front of these cameras and embarrass you in front of the whole world. Mm-hmm. Time for you to level up, Carl. Your problem you have with me, me being too accessible. Yeah. So I'm going to have to shut that down. I love you. And? I'm going to change. And she's been posting some things on social media as well that makes you feel like, I hope everything's going to be okay between the two of them. I hope so. It seems like they, they are okay. Um... I spoke to a couple of weeks ago and it seemed like things were good. So I, I hope they are able to work out their stuff. I, I think Carl was doing a couple of little crazy things. So I hope he fixed up and straightened up. And I hope they can work it out, man. I like them together. Yeah, I mean, a couple of weeks ago is different than what she was just posting on social media now. So, you know, right. ho- <laughs> yeah, hopefully um, they do get it together because she was uh, reposting people saying things like, if you can't trust the person you're sleeping with, who can you trust? And that was one of her quotes from Marriage Boot Camp as well. So... You know, I mean, listen, marriage is hard, right, Envy? And people Yes, marriage is hard. It takes work. You got to work all the time. You got to make sure you're on the same page. There's nothing easy about marriage, but when you are together and you're doing it right, it's just the most beautiful thing. You got to learn from your mistakes, not keep making them. There all you go. right, now, The Sopranos prequel has a release date and a new name. It's called Newark. And the movie is going to be in theaters on September 25th of 2020. So, are you here for that? Yeah, I would love to check that out. Uh, James Gandolfini's son, Michael Gandolfini, will be playing him as a younger version of that character. You know, so that should be interesting. And I know you'll be excited about this one. What's All that? right. Now, I know how much you love Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Well, it looks like they're going to have a clothing line in anticipation of the final season of Game, and Thro- Game of Thrones. That starts April 14th. Uh, John Varvatos is going to do an 11-piece capsule collection, and it's all inspired by the show. It's out now. So if you want to get some of that, Envy, you better go get that now. Yeah, I don't care about the merch. I don't care what? about the Did you clothes. even see it? You might like it. You love that no, show I just so want, much. I just want to see the set, but I don't care about wearing the merch. Like, it's, I'm not tied to the characters because the characters are really fictional, I guess. But I just want to see it because it's an interesting thing. So I don't really care about the merch. How can you say you don't care about it if you haven't seen it? All right, maybe you're right, but I just I don't care about wearing dragons and Jon Snow on my shirt. You don't I even know what it looks like. It doesn't have dragons on it. All right, and oh. congratulations to Meek Mill. He has his own weekend, Meek Mill Weekend in Philly. So nice. it has already kicked off. Yes, congratulations to him. Um, so they actually are going to be confirming all of that, and they're also going to announce a proclamation for him on a statewide level. So it's Yo, from it's Thursday so- to Saturday. It's so crazy that the whole Philly loves Meek. They give him his own weekend, and he does so many things. But yet he's still on probation because it is one judge. Doesn't one that person seem doesn't strange? like him. One person doesn't like him and making his life crazy, but everybody else loves him. He's doing so much good things for the community. He's giving back. He has his own weekend. But he's still on probation because it is one judge. That's and crazy. that's why he's got to keep doing great things to rub it in her face. <laughs> there you go. And congratulations to Chance the Rapper, to him and his wife, Kirsten Corley. Uh, They're married now, and they have a daughter already, but they're expecting another daughter. He posted, we pregnant again. It's a girl. Jesus Christ, we love you, God. So congratulations. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that's your rumor report. 